what this is next to me? This is an interactive 3D light sculpture made up of over 54,000 different points of light. It's being created right behind me in real time by the KUKA Comp 140. Now you've probably seen robot arms like this, so manufacturing cars or uh, powering amusement park rides, but Microsoft is using this to create this light sculpture for the game Halo Reach. So we have taken um, the robot and we've put an LED on the robot. It's a red LED, we're keying it in real time. Uh, we're driving a key that gives us tracking data for the point that lets us do a trail. It also lets us birth the, uh, the stars, the points of light. And we're doing that through a real-time compositing system that's called Touch Designer. It can be thought of as Photoshop in real time or After Effects in real time if you're a compositor. Uh, so you can do visual effects on the fly in real time and uh, it's, it's a very, very exciting technology. Every time the robot stops, it takes a grab. We're continually caching this accumulation, this long exposure, and reapplying it over the video stream. So the robot is controlled uh, by um, some custom software that we've written in, uh, in C and Python um, that communicates over a protocol called Ethernet IP uh, to the robot cabinet, which is a refrigerator-sized computer that then commands the servo motors to go to certain coordinates. So we are sending it joint data um, for each of its six axes. So this is the KCP2 unit, and uh, that is a, uh, a means of programming the KUKA robot. Using this variable here, I can adjust the speed of the robot. And I can also hold down a few keys here and jog each joint individually. Uh, there is an e-stop on here in case there's a, uh, an issue. There's also a, uh, what is called a live man switch um, because it sounds nicer than a dead man switch on the back. So I need to hold this um, in order to make it uh, operate. There is a, a six axis space mouse on the, on the KUKA controller that I'm told allows you to drive the robot. However, I cannot figure out how to use it. Um, and the rumor is that you have to be a German, um, which is the, the uh, home country of KUKA, to actually be able to operate the space mouse. It would spend most of its life uh, generally building cars or welding or palletizing. Um, and uh, we think it's much happier working with us on this project. Halo fans are going to be able to go to rememberreach.com, log in using their Facebook login, and, uh, and plot their individual point of light wherever they want to put it. So the robot arm will move where you want it to and plot the point. You only get the plot once, so choose your position carefully. And the light sculpture is going to be finished by the time Halo Reach launches on September 14th.